What's up guys, today we are going to talk about SCP command in Linux which is used to copy files between two systems from your local system to remote machine and vice versa. SCP stands for secure copy and the syntax is the same for which is used for CP command. So I'm gonna open up my terminal and let's see how to use it. If I remember, if we have some files inside changes, yeah. So we have three files, one JSON, CSV, and an HTML file. Let's put one of these files to the server. So I'm gonna SSH to remote machine. It's gonna ask me the password. I'm gonna paste the password. Okay, so let's see which directory I am in. I'm in home meta. Okay, so I'm create one directory here maybe I can name it workspace yeah so I will copy one file from my local system to this workspace directory and the syntax for that will be SCP and the source and in this case source is say I'm gonna copy this JSON file and I'm gonna put it the destination which is this thing CME VM host I have to specify the path here so it's this path so SCP and then the source which is your files or directories that you want to copy and the destination where you want to put it so we are good to go I guess I'm gonna copy okay it's asking me the password let's paste the password taking some time and it's done so let's see on the server whether we have that file or not it's a bit slow okay we got the file on the server now we just copied one file to the server we can also copy entire directory and the syntax is pretty much the same we just specify the R option which stands for recursive copying the files now the source will be our entire directory so you can specify the path to that it's downloads and changes yeah and we will put the changes directory inside the workspace on our remote machine so yes good to go yeah it's again gonna ask me for the password because it uses SSH for authentication let's paste the password taking a bit time maybe internet is slow so it copied all those files let's see on the server we got that or not so we should have a changes directory inside workspace yeah it's there let's see what we have inside that folder so we have three files okay so we successfully copied entire directory from our local system to the remote machine now let's do the opposite now copy the files from the remote machine to our local system and that's pretty much the same what we have done so far so now what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go back one directory and create a new directory here maybe from server we can name it and in this from server we're gonna copy the files from the remote machine so let's do that SCP now in this case our source will be the remote machine not the local system so let's specify it home 
Metab and I think it was in workspace. Let's copy just one file, that HTML file. And we're gonna put it inside from server directory. Yeah. Looks good. SCP, our source and the destination. Again, it's gonna ask me the password. Let's paste the password. Okay, we got some error. It's saying no such file or directory. Okay, we didn't copy main.html inside workspace. If you remember, we copied that JSON file. So that source file is oh, not there. So how can we copy that? So content the JSON. Paste the password. And that's it. So let's see we got that file or not. LS from server. So we have the file. So let's copy that entire changes directory that we previously copied to the server. If you remember, we had changes directory on server inside workspace let's copy that directory from the server to our local system inside this from server directory so command is pretty much the same we just have to specify our option so let's add the previous command that we used so in this case we want to copy that entire changes directory so we will specify changes and put it inside from server that's it so it looks good scpr and uh, folder on the server and inside this okay it's gonna ask me the password place the password and it's copying and it's done so let's see what we got inside from server directory okay we have the changes one let's see whether we have all the files or not yeah we have all the files so that's how we can use SCP to copy files from our local system to remote machine or from remote machine to our local system so pretty much the syntax is same but one important thing to remember is while we were copying the files from the remote machine to our local system we run the command on the local system so we don't run the command on the remote machine in all the cases we run the command on our local system that's it and cheers and have a great day